Good morning from Bandit's Butt. Oh, there's like breadcrumbs everywhere. I made some super delicious bread this morning. I already cut it. Here's the top though. It's like the best spread ever. It's super spongy. It's got a great texture. I can't really cut the top because it doesn't really fit in my bread thing. Um, so I gotta figure that out. But I'm so, I'm so happy with the way this bread turned out. Here's the toasted product. Yum. It's like perfect. If you guys are buying your bread, really you should try making it because it's just so much better. Well, it's been raining all day. I'll show you guys. Oh wait, it stopped raining. <laughs> but I just broke the door. So that's fun. I don't know how to put it back together. It looks pretty difficult. So I'm gonna leave that one for Tim. So on a side note, I was tweeting with somebody yesterday about uh, protein pancakes and waffles. So I wanted to show them and everybody in the vlog how I make Tim's breakfast every day. It's a pretty easy breakfast to make. I usually make it the day before. It's basically just egg whites, applesauce, and oat flour. It's really easy to make. And if you don't have a waffle maker, you can make pancakes out of it. First, you're gonna need some sort of container with a lid so that you can put it in the fridge if you want. You don't have to leave it overnight. Tim just likes to leave it overnight because it gets like a thicker consistency and it's easier to make in the waffle iron that way. So the first ingredient is liquid egg whites. You're gonna need three quarters of a cup of liquid egg white. Second ingredient is unsweetened applesauce. You can use sweetened applesauce. Tim just likes the unsweetened because it's more natural. You can use whatever you like. So you'll need half a cup of applesauce. The next ingredient is one cup of oat flour. If you don't have oat flour, which we don't actually have oat flour, what I do is I take oatmeal, I use a food processor, get it to that like powdery consistency, and just add it right to my mixture. So I've got it in the food processor. I'm gonna give it a quick blend and then I'll show you the consistency. This is the consistency that you want where it's not quite powdery, but it's not full on oatmeal either. I've blended this for about 20 seconds. And you just wanna add this right to your egg white and applesauce mixture. This is the consistency that you are looking for where it's, you can still mix it with a spoon, but it's also not really runny either. But I'll have Tim show you what the waffles look like in the morning, so that way you can see the finished outcome. You don't have to leave it in the fridge overnight. I do that only so that it kind of like sets up a little bit better. The egg whites and the applesauce kind of like get into the oatmeal and it's a little bit thicker, which makes for a better waffle. So if you guys decide to try this, let me know what you think. It's a really great way to get your carbs, your protein, your fiber. It is low in fat, so if that's something you're looking for, you know, that, that's a good breakfast for you guys to have. First thing in the morning, heat up the waffle iron, spray it down real quick, and then into the waffle iron it goes. I usually do this with two hands, this is kind of difficult. Then we shut it down. Now because of the egg whites and the applesauce, my waffle iron pops up like this, but I usually let it go through two heating cycles and then it sucks back down. See what I tell you, it sucked down a little bit, it's gone through two cycles, let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? I love these waffles, they're so tasty and hot. So you know that feeling of when you run out of your favorite like facial products? Mine happens to be this, it's a deep clean long lasting shine control daily scrub from Neutrogena. I need to figure out this lighting thing where every time I try to film something there's a, a window behind me so it's really poorly lit. But anyway, um, so I'm running out of my favorite facial product. I, it's the one I showed you, the Neutrogena. I really love it. It's not really, it's not super harsh. It makes my face feel nice and soft. I feel like it's really helping with my breakouts because I do have acne prone skin. So instead of paying $8 to buy it, it's lasted me for probably about a month or so, but I want to see if I can find something that's natural that I can make at home and see how I like that. So I found this recipe online. I'm gonna try to make it for you guys now. I know it's kind of a girly thing. And after looking at Tim's um, analytics, I noticed that 68% of you guys that watch the vlogs are men. And so that would leave 32% to be women. This is for everyone though. Anybody who has acne prone skin that wants to exfoliate with things that they have in their home, their kitchen, then check this out. I wanna make it for you guys and I'll let you know how I like it. And if you guys make it and you like it, let me know what you think. This is actually another super easy thing to make. You just need granulated sugar, honey, which I have in this cup because I'm trying to get it all to go to the bottom. So just regular honey and half of any citrus fruit. Could be a lemon, lime, orange. I have a lemon, so I'm gonna be using the other half of this lemon. So it's a quarter cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of honey, and half of a lemon, lime, or orange, the juice inside of the fruit. Some of the things that I read about this scrub that I really liked was that because it has the citrus fruit in it, that's actually gonna decrease the spots on your skin. So it's almost like a color correction 
where it's gonna get rid of dark spots, if you have acne scars, if you have age spots or sunspots or freckles or whatever you call them, and you wanna diminish the look of those spots, this is a good one for you to try. And then the honey has a really nice, I guess like an antibacterial component to it, which is nice if you have acne prone skin, which I do. And then the sugar is gonna be like a mechanical exfoliant. So that's gonna be like actually exfoliating your skin because it's, you know, it's a hard granule. And the, the citrus fruit is kind of gonna act as a, an exfoliant as well, but it's more of a chemical exfoliant because it has the citric acid in it. So who knew? This is all fun stuff that you've got probably in your pantry right now. The first thing you're gonna need is a quarter cup of sugar, which kind of seems like a lot. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna make it according to this recipe that I found but so a quarter cup of sugar, a tablespoon of honey. So I've added my tablespoon of honey to my quarter cup of granulated sugar, and the mixture is a little bit hard to stir. I'm hoping that once I add the lemon here, it's gonna paste up a little bit more, so let's see. So I've got half of my lemon here. I'm just gonna squeeze that right in. Probably gonna get a couple of seeds in there, so you just wanna take those out, because that's not gonna be super fun to wash your face with. Here's the finished outcome. It is kind of pasty, almost like a glue consistency. I'm gonna try it. I have never tried this before. I don't know how I'm gonna like it, but I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see what we think. Tim's gonna be home soon, so I'm cooking up some rice for dinner. Hey guys, I'm home and look at what I came home to. A beautiful sun shower. It's like crazy raining though. And five minutes later, it's done. It's like a crazy fast Sun shower, super hard rain. Started pouring again, so crazy. Oh man, doing insanity. Hey, he was trying to eat the couch. He started running around like crazy because it's raining outside and he's like, oh, it's how I'm outside. Started running around like crazy to dry off. And then he just goes over, licks the side of the couch and then bites the handle. Never done that before. We've never had a chair like that before. What about this one? Oh. Today's weather has been interesting. It keeps raining and then stopping and then raining and then stopping. And then raining, and then stopping. Done working out, done eating, done showering. Now, because the weather's been so crazy, back and forth and back and forth, I think we're gonna go try doing some shop kicking so that we can be indoors and not be rained on. Let's give it a try. With all the rain that we had today, I'm very disappointed in the sunset. It's just kind of like a cloudy thing. Maybe it'll get better later, but right now it's just like, eh, there's some clouds over there. It's like Eeyore made the sunset. Security at the deadest mall in the world has a segue. You're getting better sunset, but you need to work on it still. Here I was thinking I knew my wife. It turns out she likes horror movies and neon. <laughs> this is all new stuff. No, it's not. Well, I mean, fairly recent. You know what it is? I think that I feel safe with you, so I can watch scary movies with you. Oh, That's I like that. The color of the sunset, though, do you guys remember the sunset from a second ago, that orange color? I'd like to have that as nail polish. Yeah, and, me too. And or lip gloss. <laughs> me too. Don't forget, guys, Father's Day is coming up. Get your dad some jean swords. Let it be known right now. I want to be buried in a shirt that says fresh to death. Just that and my underwear. I give you an A for effort, Florida. Jen was trying to take a picture of the sunset on her phone. And what did you do? I zoomed in because I was trying to get a better picture of it, but then I was too close, so I backed away. Not zoomed out, leaned backwards. What is the P? What? What is the P? I was going to say, what's the big deal? What is the people pop a poop? <laughs> Oh yeah. I kinda like these, they're fun. No, I like the other ones better. <laughs> I just always wanted to wear a pair like that, but I never could, they never fit my face. Try like, on. No, you kinda look like a weirdo. We can get you a little baby kayak for $109, Jen, you want it? <laughs> I feel like I would so sink this kayak. No, <laughs> Jen's so sad. I love this bathing suit. Look how pretty it is. I really want it. Look at the bottoms, they're so cute. We're going on a special vacation for our, um, I almost said honeymoon, <laughs> for our two year honeymoon anniversary. <laughs> I really want it. I touched the crotch on accident. Oh, gross. <laughs> Bobby, Susie, due to the economy, I'm gonna have to let one of you go. Thanks for never giving up on me, Dad. No, never giving me up. Oh. Like, this is a terrible Father's Day card. By the way, Father's Day's coming up. Here's your warning. Yeah, buy some jorts. <laughs> you guys, they sell Nando's Peri Peri sauce here. Peri Peri sauce. That's so exciting. From Nando's. I just talked about this yesterday. Yeah, it's yeah. from Nando's. Should we the get UK. one? Nando's How much UK? are they? It's only three bucks. Oh, so amazing. Walmart certainly does their barbecue sauce section right. 
Jeez, it's a lot. Oh, cola cube. I like the what? Egg. What does that even mean? It's new. It has cola in it. Oh. In case you guys didn't know why we were so excited for Nando's, Fernando. It's a chicken restaurant chain over in England that we ate at when we were over there, and Jen loved it. I thought it was pretty delicious myself. And we found this sauce here, so now we can make our own at home. So we're gonna try it tomorrow. I'll tell you guys how it is. I am so tired. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.